after graduating with phd from mit uh, there has always been a nagging thought that i had which was i'm going to run a startup and i'm moving away from academia i i don't think i'm going to become a professor i want to continue doing startups so will all my knowledge will my phd degree everything will it become obsolete after some time if the if i cannot keep track of what is happening in science in the in its latest format um my knowledge is going to become obsolete so this has always been a nagging thought and i have always wondered what is the way to conduct research even while running a business or running a startup so i'm just recording this video to share my thoughts on a very interesting recent experience that i had and all equally with my team so uh, recently couple of the papers that we worked on have gotten accepted into neurips workshop and as uh, you may know neurips is one of the most prestigious machine learning co conferences in the whole world and neurips neurips workshop is also very prestigious so one of the papers that got through was this one human versus llm identification with with explainability so this paper was about how to detect uh, human written versus ai written text and uh, this was done using several uh, nlp techniques and we also implemented explainable ai techniques to um, understand which parts of a, a certain paragraph is contributing maximum towards making it ai written or making it human written Uh, we had originally published this article on archive and then later we submitted it for neurips workshop also and now it has been accepted the other paper that we worked with uh, and i mean i also want to have a shout give a shout out to prathamesh who really spearheaded this work and also sahil along with of course raj and rajit from uh, vishwara the other paper that we worked on uh, was uh, was this modeling uh, or rather solving chandrashekhar white white dwarf equation using scientific machine learning uh, raymondo spearheaded this paper and this paper also has been now accepted to neurips workshop so this experience makes me very happy because uh, it really opens the door to be part of cutting edge of science without having to be part of a university ecosystem and also there is no need for having millions of dollars in funding so i agree of course that to conduct certain types of research especially in large language models with hundreds of billions of parameters if you really want to do fundamental research of course a lot of money is needed to even train such a a neural network of such a scale it's not easy you need a lot of money but um for most of the or for many types of ai ml research fundamental as well as applied you don't need millions of dollars in funding um i would say we spent maybe 100 or maximum 200 dollars on this project um and we spent very little on this scientific machine learning project it was like a very we could we could work on this with whatever we had in terms of technology in terms of software computing power everything but it was more about the idea like mixing of ideas how can we bring the concept of neural od or universal differential equations to solve chandrashekhar's white dwarf equation that was a very original novel thought and we implemented it and we it worked out and for the human versus llm identification the thought occurred naturally because we partner with a lot of schools and school teachers were telling us hey students are probably submitting a lot of assignments by using chat gpt or other uh, ai tools is there a way to detect if it is actually written by them or if it's written by ai so from this um real life problem that we faced we thought actually there is a scope for writing a very good research paper here along with building products so uh it makes me so happy genuinely happy to um to be part of scientific research that to something exceptionally relevant in today's age like these topics are very very relevant and uh, also to be involved in applied as well as fundamental ai ml research i also think it is possible to work on uh, if not on training large language models or coming up with new frameworks for more efficient large language models we can also work on maybe small language models we could work on concepts like nano gpt where you probably don't need too much computing power or too much money so um uh, 
I personally disagree with many people who say that uh, it it's hopeless to uh, conduct research on some of these topics because um, most of the big companies have hundreds of millions of dollars or even billion dollars in funding and they are they are anyway going to outcompete you maybe maybe they will but as long as you are not going to compete with them in building a product there is always scope for identifying impactful useful areas where you can conduct research write papers and be part of the scientific community so these two papers which got recently accepted to neurips workshop it's the workshop will be held in vancouver canada and hopefully our team um, will be going there and presenting the work so um, it's an exceptional um, thing especially ever since we started visvara because i personally never imagined uh, this to happen but yet it has happened so um, yeah i just i just wanted to put this out there to share my thoughts about what i think people can do if you are an individual student if you are working in a company or if you if you don't have access to uh, big shot professors if you don't have access to a, a super computer or or you know a gpu or if you don't have uh, funding none of this is a barrier to conducting good research all you need is a group of motivated people ability to identify good problem statements and the willingness to put solid human hours on working on this so um and if you can do that i'm sure over time you will figure out ways to work on impactful research problem statements and it's, it's also a very rewarding process so um as a scientist and researcher it makes me so happy to be able to conduct research even after phd even while being outside of the academic ecosystem and if you are like me um if you are not part of academia and if you are wondering how to enter ai ml research uh this is one of the ways in which you can do that so uh i just wanted to share this with all of you um to so that you can also get inspired to do something similar it's it's something that any one of you can do so yeah that's that's all about this video thank you so much